Well, good morning, everybody. We are in Potter Hyam this morning. Very frosty. Ice on the puddles. But I thought, let's get out in the sunshine and go for a walk. Now, this walk is rather long. We're going right down the end, and where those people are is about halfway along this track. But hopefully, once we're down the end, it'll be worth it. I'll get to show you what I want to show you. I'm not going to spoil it and say what, till we get down there. So, let's go and have a look and see if we can find something very special. I've walked about that far, so I'm about a quarter of the way, I guess. I've just passed two ladies who tell me the road ahead is totally impassable. I asked them if they saw what I'm here to try and show you, and they said no. But that doesn't mean they're not here. So... This morning's little adventure might be cut short. So, fingers crossed, we can see something. That is High Mill, and there's a little house that goes with it. <coughs> Over there. Now, we do know Mr. High whose grandparents used to own that mill. And he doesn't own it. The Mr. High we know doesn't live there anymore. It's got nothing to do with it. And it's a holiday let. Or some people use it as a second home. I'm not sure which. So, yeah. There's some more people coming. I'm going to ask them if they manage to get through. I think I'm now at the halfway point to where I need to be. It'll probably end up being a six mile walk by the time I've finished. I'm at Potterheim Reed Bed Creation. That was nice of them to take off just as I'm beside them. As you can hear I'm crunching the ice underfoot so I've got to be very careful. I'm beside a pump which is trying to release the marshes of some of the water. This is the first water area I'm not entirely sure how many bits there are, but I think roughly four or five. Let's go on a bit further. I've made it down to the bottom and I'm on the lookout for the spoonbills. Had a quick scan of the area. When I see them, they're always down at this bottom section of water. easier this time of year to see because the reeds aren't as dense. I know I'm going a bit far, sorry. I just had to walk through some flooding and there's lots of people who are trying to get through it as well. 
some have turned back and others keep going because they've seen that I've got through I always say I don't walk through the flooding unless I can see the, the ground underneath I could but it just goes on for so long the stretch you walk through but it is doable if you come down here stick to the left hand side Right, let's find these spoonbills. Just be my luck, I'm down here and they've gone off elsewhere. Over there is Martham Boatyard. I filmed from there when I filmed Starling Murmuration for you. Some holiday cottages. Recently I said to you Martha Mill was for sale. It still is, I believe. That's Martha Mill over there. But there's a river between here and over there. Straight ahead is the old eel set where they used to collect eels and send them to London. And in here, if I can see it, I'll find it to show you. Behind the trees in there, look, and you see the chimney. That's a holiday property. It's so far away off the road. The driveway up to the holiday property is totally flooded. They'd never get through that. There's the people walking back who didn't want to go through the flooding quite wise really. I feel I've failed in my my mission to show you the spoonbills. I gave it this great big build up because they're always here, always. Yet the one day I want to show you, they're not. sure what that is. I thought an egret at first and then I thought an owl. A bit early in the day for an owl. That's the eel set where I walked to. And the footpath sign again. And a holiday property.
Well, I think this is just about it for me for today. I'm so sorry I hyped it up about getting to see the spoonbills. And then when we got there, they weren't there. So they obviously fly off and go elsewhere for winter. They're the most beautiful birds I've ever seen. Well, after the little egrets, of course. <laughs> There isn't a great white egret here today either. No, he's normally here. Perhaps they've all gone out to prepare for a New Year's Eve party. Perhaps what's, that's what they will do. Happy New Year to you all. And thank you all for so your support throughout the year. Commenting on my videos, liking them sharing them, subscribing to me. Had lots of new subscribers this year. Thank you all. Subscribing and liking and sharing, that all helps my channel grow. I think I need about 175 subscribers now to reach 1,000, which is just mind-blowing. I know I said I wanted to reach it by Christmas, but... That just didn't happen. I mustn't be greedy, must I? Just got to wait and let it happen when the right time is there for it to happen. So from my noisy friends here, who've now been quiet, I liked how they all put their heads up when I said my noisy friends here. <laughs> um, and myself, it's goodbye and Happy New Year to you. I think I've got a few days of rain ahead and then I'll be out again. And of course, it's back to work next week. Oh no, these two weeks have gone very quick. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.